My name is Ed Perry. At this point, I'm 91 years old. But when I was younger, I lived in Falmouth, town landing in Falmouth. And Casco Bay was my playground, work ground. I had a dory. It had, it had come in, washed up in the hurricane of 1938. And I had salvaged it in the, right in the Falmouth shore. And it was the ideal boat to go waking sea moss because mm. you used a 12 foot uh, rake. Right. And you'd have to go low tide, and we would find the better places would be out around Clabbit Island and somewhere around Basket Island. The flatter, the better, and we could, we could, I could wake uh, 400 pounds, and I was 12 years old at the time. And how much would you get per pound? One penny a pound. That's well. Right. So 400 pounds was about my limit. <laughs> but four bucks is a big... Yeah. Was, it was the healthy thing for a total. It was Nate Thompson and his son Ben Thompson. Uh, they were both lawyers, marine uh, naval lawyers. And uh, they uh, started to generated a CMOS business for drying it and shipping it out in bales to companies that need it, the beer companies, craft cheese and stuff like that. Right. We originally dried it on Little Shabig Island, right on the sand. Wow. And the, uh, then they found that they had a tumbler dryer in Portland. And so it ended up being processed there and I guess it would dry to a certain point, which changed the color from purple to cream colored. Right. And bale it and then ship it out. And I think that's about all the processing they did. So I've moved a little further up the coast. I've raised a little bit of uh, kelp. Uh, I've taken the course so I know a little bit about it. But uh, so I. Uh, have an oyster lease, also LPA, yeah. and I have a commercial lobster license, which I use very lightly.